Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a necktie. Now these are novelty neckties. I'm not working with silk or brocade. This one has an Americana theme to it. This is Christmas doggies and cats and whatever. And then this one has a Halloween theme to it. So you can make it for any season of the year, make it for their fun hobby that they may have. You can just go crazy and pick any fabrics you want. Okay, let's get started. As you take your tie apart, now it takes a little while, you'll notice it's put together in an unusual way, but it all has meaning to it. So once you get it apart, you'll notice at each end of the tie, there is a piece of lining. And then going down the center of the tie is a piece of wool. It goes all the way to the other end. And that wool is in there to add weight to the tie, to the tie so that it hangs straight. And then of course, at the other end, you have the same lining piece. In the middle of your tie, and the middle is right about here, then below that you have this section where there's two seams here, and it has a very slight curve to it. And the reasoning for that is so that it goes around the neck. Now you can use all three pieces and stitch them together just as you see them, but for this demonstration, I'm only gonna use one of these seams. So I undid this seam and pressed it out and just kept this as it is. So I will only have two pieces to each section of the tie. Again, you can do all three. Now you can take the fabric pieces from your tie and lay it on your fabric and cut it out. But I chose to trace it onto cardstock because I want to use this pattern over and over. And when you go to do your markings on your pattern, which I advise you to do, is make a separate pattern. Put these two edges together so that they look like this. And then on each side, on each piece I mean, write front side up. So when you lay it on your fabric, you want this particular side up. If you've got it wrong and you cut it out, when you go to match these pieces, it's not going to come out right. I want to put an arrow on my pattern so I know which way the bias is, so I lay it correctly. So here is a quilting ruler with a 45 degree line on it. That's the bias on your fabric. So just take one of your, take the 45 degree line right here and place that 45 degree line right in the center of the pattern piece. Now I'm going to bring it up this way just a little bit so that I have marked this line going like this. So you can go ahead and put a little mark there, then turn your ruler and finish making it put a little arrow on it so that you place your pattern piece correctly on the fabric. So you want to unfold your fabric and you're going to need just a little under a yard, but I would get a yard just in case you make sure that you have enough. And so this is it. I've unfolded it. Here's the selvage edge here and here. The bias goes at a diagonal this way and this way. The red lines is the straight grain. So you don't want to lay your tie pieces going this way or this way. You want them going on the bias. So let's pretend that these are your pattern pieces. This is your fabric. You have it completely unfolded with selvage edges at each side here, two opposite sides. You want to lay your pattern pieces on the bias. So if we take this pattern piece here and you place this line on the straight grain, remember the red lines? They, they went up and down and side to side. So now you see that your pattern pieces 
are laying on the diagonal. If you are using different fabric on the back than as on the front, then you want to bring both layers of fabric pretty sides together. Lay them out. Make sure your fabric is nice and smooth. Then you would place your pattern pieces on one side. So you've got the lining underneath and here. So you wouldn't have this up here. But if you wanted to make two ties, you could go ahead and place them over here and you actually have two ties you can make. So here's my seam here. So before you stitch it together, you want to take each end and bring those two edges together so that they touch. Then you take it and you're going to fold it one over the top of the other so that those two diagonal lines come together like this. You'll notice you'll have a tail of fabric sticking out here and at the other end. It's supposed to be like that. If you don't do that, it's not going to come out right. Then go ahead and pin them together and stitch a quarter inch wide seam along there. Then you want to press this seam open and you do that to your lining fabric and the fabric for the outside. Now bring your lining fabric and the fabric for the outside. Bring the pretty sides together. Now my lining is just plain fabric, but if it's a print, make sure you bring that print side towards here. And line up all your edges all the way down to the other end. Now you're going to stitch each end. We're not going to stitch it all the way down from one end to the other, only just at each end. So you can see you're going to stitch about anywhere from an inch to inch and a quarter. Stitch down one quarter inch wide seam. And then when you get here, leave your needle down, lift your presser foot, turn your fabric, and stitch down to this corner. Then again, leave your needle down, turn your fabric, stitch down to this corner. Leave the needle down, turn again, and stitch about an inch or so. On the three corners, you're going to trim some of the fabric off. So just trim along here. You want about an eighth of an inch wide of fabric and do it over here. And then cut across the point. Now make sure you don't cut through your stitch line. And I like to cut a little more off of each side. And you do that on the opposite end also. Then you take it and you turn it front side out and make sure you poke all those little corners out. After you've turned it front side out, again, make sure you poke your little corners out. Don't poke through your fabric, so be really careful. And then you want to press these ends flat. Now have the front of the tie facing up where the pretty side is and fold it in half. So now you're looking at your lining fabric. Line up these edges right along here and then you're going to place a pin right here where the seam is open, right at the beginning of where the seam is open. Place a pin there and continue pinning all the way down to the other end. And at the other end, your last pin is going to be right where this, that seam here ends. Now you can start at either end of the tie and you're going to stitch a quarter inch seam. So you're going to start from here where that seam is unstitched and stitch a quarter inch wide seam all the way down and around and then you stop here. At the narrow end of the tie, put a large safety pin near the point. You're going to use this to help you turn the tie inside or front side out. So you just turn the, the pin and begin to insert it down the tube. And you keep pushing it through, tugging on the fabric until you come out at the other end. Then once you turn it front side out, you want to take that seam and get it as centered as possible and then press the tie all the way down. And so this is 
what it looks like on one end and this is what it looks like on the other end. Now you will notice on the tie you took apart that on the back of the tie there was a little band that went across here and that was so that you could insert the other end in to keep the ties together. Some people like that band, some don't. If you want to do that, you could take a little piece of ribbon or another piece of fabric and hand stitch it on, but make sure you don't go through all the layers of your fabric. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something new. Look at all the novelty fabrics that are out there for each season. This was really a lot of fun to put together. And if you want to make it for a child, look for a child's tie, a used one if possible, and use that as your template. Now, if you're interested in other beginner's sewing projects, you will see those links listed below your YouTube screen in the description section. So just scroll down, click on Show More, and it will expand open. I'll also have a playlist of all of my beginner's sewing tips of the week, which come out every Wednesday. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.